Hey, podcast! Nah. Mm. <laughs> grumble. <laughs> what is up, guys? Uh, I didn't check the date before the fifth, right? <laughs> you checked. I don't. Like a phone or something, right? 24th. 24th? Okay, it's April yeah. 24th, 2016. And we're here uh, recording the, the BNB podcast or whatever. Uh, BNB stands for Brett and Ben or Ben and Brett. It's interchangeable. We decided that the viewers are going to decide, decide whose name is first. Yeah. So we actually tried recording this twice before earlier today at like three in the morning. Or no, was it four? Yeah. No, we, we ended at four. That's when we went to bed. Yeah. But yeah, so it was like at four and the like three. The things we go through to entertain to... you people. Yeah, we actually tried recording this twice. But I fixed it this morning. So it should be fine now. But yeah, so Yay. Call of Duty Call of Duty gameplay is in the background and it is a live gameplay. And if I ever refer to the game uh, and I, I decided that in post editing, I'm kind of just kind of going to dim the screen because it's more or less about us talking and not so much about the gameplay. But if I do bring something up about the gameplay, I will brighten up the screen again. So just to <laughs> just sh like all. showcase what all. happened. Hey, hold up, hold up. You see this melon, right? You see this melon, this glorious piece of fruit. Yeah, or something. So anyway, so I'm going to bring up some, I'm going to bring up a subject that uh like uh three specific subjects from the last record well from the last tapings that we didn't really touch on because you guys never saw them um a we're gonna go in order of what we were in last time um so a we're gonna talk about prince's death which had happened oh, yeah. quite recently i don't remember when but it happened and um as of taping this april 24th I have received no news other than that they did an autopsy for foul play. And there, according to the doctors' knowledge, there is no foul play. But now Why they've been... Why would anybody want to kill Prince? Like, what the fuck? Exactly. So now I guess they are deciding that they're going to now do a, a um, autopsy on overdosing, which guarantee you that and why daddy how do stars hide drugs mostly <laughs> so it's yeah that's still funny it's still funny he said that last night when we were talking about this and it's still funny uh but yeah so i mean that's probably why he was just probably one of the lucky ones and didn't wasn't stupid about it until now Entire team is like right here. Jesus Christ. Lol. Oh, lol, I got lol. Tempest. Get wrecked. <laughs> I got Tempested. If that's even a word. Okay, anyway. So, uh, this another Let's... thing that we talked about, which by the way, saw an ad for it this morning again on YouTube. Same ad. Uh, Mafia yeah, 3 is. Yeah, Mafia 3 is gonna be coming out at some point. Uh, yeah, that's. That's gonna be interesting. For those of you who don't know, and Brett knows by now because I've said this three times, this will be the third time that I'm saying it to him, so he knows. But for any of you who don't know, or haven't seen the YouTube ads for it or anything, Mafia 3 is, is kind of like an, a, a 1940s open world sandbox game. So kind of like L.A. Noir if you've played it, or like, um, and it's made by, I don't, yeah, it's, I think it's set around the 1940s, maybe early 50s, and at least I'm pretty sure, because that's what it kind of looks like to me. Maybe even 30s, but I don't think that far back. Whatever. Anyway, and it's kind of like L.A. Noir, but instead of being a police detective, you're like a criminal who's hunting other criminals. That makes sense. From what I've gathered from it, you're a dude hunting members of the mafia. Yeah, so you're kind of like a vigilante, like a mercenary. Like, you're your own law against the mob or something. And... 
I think it looks pretty good. It's the closest to real life graphics that I've seen in a while. The only game, and this is gonna be surprising, the only game that I've seen to have graphics close to real life like this game's is, was Halo 4. And that was last gen. Like, I'm talking about last gen Halo 4. Like, not like the actual gameplay, but the cutscenes, dude. Last gen and Master Chief Collection Halo 4 cutscenes actually looked like real life. They were really good. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to agree with you there. Those were in... Sorry. Right, you okay there? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Just, just some things going on. <laughs> I'm not going to be like Shaquin. I'll, I'll say that. Yeah, but... Yeah, so... Um, also, for Christmas, I'm hoping on getting a, an, an Xbox One with Halo 5, or if another Halo comes out by then, and Halo Wars 2. So hopefully that'll be coming. And I kind of have a little bit of a, um... I'm, I'm deciding to have a little bit of a, um... I have, I have a plan to maybe make a... A Halo series, which would be kind of cool. So... Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. Because, mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. I've... I've, I've I've heard from an Xbox One owner, and anyone in the comments, if they want to correct me, uh, th uh, supposedly there is a, um, I'm losing my track of thought because I'm actually kind of concentrating on the gameplay, I shouldn't be doing that, but, um, there's actually a, there's actually somebody who owns an Xbox One told me that you can actually record uh, he said he thinks longer, actually, than 15 minutes of, like, clip. And then... But there's no editing software, to my knowledge, that's, like, Share Factory. So, what I'm planning on doing is recording it, and then for Christmas I'd also get a computer. And then for Christmas, what I'd do is I'd just record it, put it on a flash drive, put the flash drive in my computer, and then just edit it on the computer. Sounds like a plan. Hopefully it works that way. I don't know. But that was said, I think, in the second one that we tried recording. But finally, the last yeah. topic to talk about, at least from what we said in the previous podcast that failed, is the new game coming out Overwatch. Which seems to be... Uh on the down low, visual wise, like from just me watching gameplay, has the art style of, what did I say, loadout, as the art style of loadout. But with gameplay style, it's like the bastard child of, what was it, Call of Duty and Destiny? Yeah, kind of, kind of like those two games. And that's just me visual, like visual wise of looking at the gameplay. Again, I'm not saying that it'll be like any either of those games. Now, I know 100% for sure the art style kind of looks like Loadout, but... I mean, you know, in terms of gameplay-wise, from what it, the gameplay looks like, that's what it looks like. Because there's pretty outrageous, like, abilities and stuff that remind me of Destiny, but it's a first-person shooter, and it seems to run kind of like Call of Duty. So... I'm not sure if I'll get it or not. That'll probably be a game that um, would come afterwards with some like birthday or some Christmas money, like that I'm not gonna get on Christmas Day. But if people tell me that it's good, that might be a game that I'll use some of my Christmas money on. You know what I mean? So that'll prob that might come future. I don't know. I know that. <laughs> Let's see. I know that I never got it. I, I never got an Xbox One, and I never got... Actually, no, I think it was only on 360. I never had an Xbox... Or, I've had an Xbox 360, but I never... I never got it. My friend Nick bought it, but I never bought it. Uh, Titanfall. I've been looking for, I guess, kind of a Call of Duty replacement. Like, I kind of wish that... Um, they could do another... Like... 
Because back on Xbox, they had CSGO on console. And I kind of wish that they'd bring CSGO to console again. But this time, not neglect it as bad as they did from the last version. Because they literally released it and then never updated it. Like, they never cared. But, no, but like... here, have CSGO, but then never get anything new for it. Pretty much. It's, like, really stupid. You mean, like, the developers? Oh, hey -o. <laughs> Getting the disses on up in here. <laughs> That may have seemed planned, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it actually wasn't. I wasn't saying that. I didn't know that he was going to say that. So, Brett, what's going on with, uh... What's going on? I triggered an alarm. No. So, do you have anything um, interesting to... Aside from... Mouth at? Or mouth about? I'm an interesting person, but... Interesting. Uh, you mean along the lines of just random useless facts? <laughs> oh, like you mean that one that we were talking about? The one about, about this cat? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there was a fucking scientist who, after he wrote a paper, realized that he was the only one who actually did any of the work. Like, he didn't have a partner. He signed it and wrote the paper, like, us and we and our finding yeah yeah which is the paper so instead of doing he just named his cat as an assistant yeah so i mean on my end i was getting a little bit of lag from your mic so just in case if that didn't go through 100 oh, no. percent um basically it was a scientist and he did research all in, and he did a research for something all on his own and then when he wrote his research paper, he kept saying we and us, as in if more than one person worked on it, but he was the only one that worked on it. And apparently the we and us, the plural, was referring credit to his cat. So basically, this guy was crediting his cat on his work for no reason. So there you go, kids. Always credit your cats, no matter what you do. Pass your driver's license test and graduate is, graduate is college coaching. graduate college and the cat wrote your papers for you no, no no when you're graduating college you know and, and if you have to give a speech just flat out just like you know address everybody and at the end of your speech just say and i couldn't owe this to anybody other than my cat and then just leave it at that and then confuse the crap out of everybody in the room Straight up. Simple Straight up, just say, I couldn't have done it without my cat. Couldn't have gone through college without my cat. Even though I wasn't allowed to have him in my dorm, he was at my parents' house the entire time, couldn't have done it without him. Haven't seen him the entire time, except for on the weekends. Couldn't have done it without him. That's just, that's just life right there, ladies and gentlemen. It's just life. Yeah. Do what you gotta do. Credit your cat to everything. Even stuff that, even if you haven't seen them, even if your cat's dead, credit them. Oh yeah, it's no, not, not even, no, especially. Yes, especially if they're especially. dead. You know what I kind of miss in the Call of Duties? I kind of miss being able to play with bots the and then having the bots... Wait, what? The need for actual talent. Wow. Wow, Brett. Wow. <laughs> wow. Contemplating friendship is happening. Just kidding. But... <laughs> but I kind of miss that when you go into private matches and you turn on bots, that you could turn on the bots to have your friends gamer tags. So like, Brett, you wouldn't even have to own Call of Duty, but if I turned on friend gamer tags, you would be in the game as a bot shooting people. Yeah, I'd be snipe at you. Yeah. I'd snipe at you like you 
All right. So yeah, back up. Sorry guys. Um, if if it seems like we just cut jumped, it's because just don't just ignore them. You didn't miss anything. I tell Brett to stop talking whenever it stop whenever the clip stops recording. So mm -hmm. you guys didn't miss anything. Anyway, back to back to the cast. <sighs> The cast. Who, who got wounded? Somebody needs to cast? What? <laughs> I, I can't believe I just did that. It, ben, it's... Okay, Ben, sh just shoot me. I, I shouldn't have done that. No. I'm not gonna shoot you after the first podcast, okay? That's gonna be something <laughs> saved for, like, a few episodes down the line, okay? Plus, I already wrecked you enough in the Star's Battlefront beta. Oh. <laughs> what was that, Brett? Can someone say cycler rifle? <laughs> I never did make a montage, actually. Ooh. Oh ooh, my ooh, god. Ooh, ooh. Okay. So. Uh, what are some thoughts on, oh, oh no. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what to talk oh. about right now. Why so much money? Uh-oh. Um, stand by everybody. Brett has seemed to leave the party. So, I guess it'll just be me for now. I don't want to stop the podcast, but we'll wait to see if he joins back. I'm sure that he will. I'm sure that he's trying his best to join back. He's lagging pretty hard. It probably means that somebody in his household is using up the internet. I guess this is a point at which it's probably more about the gameplay now. This is why it's kind of good to have a fail safe. So right now I'm using my Draken. Lighten up, mofos. Lighten up, mofos, with my Draken. Waiting for Brett to join back. Um, you know what guys, I think I'm gonna end this game And I'm gonna set the timer to 10 minutes and I will start it back up when Brett joins Support all that so Oh my god, I heard a PlayStation notification and it stops Brett lagging out again All right, so ah I've got a would you rather. You got a would you rather? Alright. Shoot. Yeah. Sir. I, I actually, now that I. No. Now that I think about it, it this one is more like a would you push the button. But okay. There's no button, you actually have to do it yourself. But anyway, it is. Would you. Stop all ongoing wars globally on the one condition that you have to brutally murder five children. Yes. And we're going to Just, just, yes. It's not even, it's not even an option. Just yes. There will be blood. Yes. What? What is there not to... Alright. Alright. Like... Because I know a lot of people who would be like, I can't do, I can't do that to a toddler, and I'm just... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> you know, you just... You gotta think about the greater good. 
and the greater good like you know it's you personally you're personally like experiencing this so to have just you personally experience this over just stopping war in general is pretty great Ooh. i mean Ooh, then okay. again okay. i'm kind of a little bit of a one. sadist and you know war is war has a beauty to it and if you just stop all war you're not gonna get that beauty anymore Hmm. All right, so I got I got another one. Would you rather get married to somebody you don't love, get married to love your life, but you can never want that person? Wait, say that again. You can never once touch that person. Marry Is that what you said? You don't love. But never love, once touch them. But you can never yeah. Okay. Um. Honestly, for my own personal gain, again, revealing the evils and everybody, I would do it. I, or by I would do it, I mean I would marry the woman that I don't actually love. Cause wait, now it depends though. <laughs> Does she unconditionally love you? Like. Or is it just a normal relationship? I mean, if you're marrying this bit to a suit, yes. Lagging hella all over the place. God okay. damn it, May May, leave. <sighs> I've got good news though. It went to her being. She's fucking tough. <sighs> I couldn't even understand a word that you were just saying. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and assume yes. Yes, you are loved by. Okay, if you're loved, un uh, if I'm un loved unconditionally by this person. Ah, oh, I just left again. Okay, well, I'm gonna answer this for you guys. Um, if I were to be loved unconditionally by this person, it would definitely work. Because then that means that I could, you know, just have them around. Oh, hey, Brett's back. I'm saying yeah, because then that way I could just, you know, like have them around. And I mean, like, mm -hmm. and by, I don't love this person. Like, do I permanently not love this person? Because like, is impossible for me to love this person because like eventually over time I'm you'd disclosed. think that you'd start loving them like it's either it's either one of two things will happen either over time you start to hate them and you just get a divorce or you love them where you just start to love them and then you're happy and you're all right hmm. so i mean I'm, i'd marry the person that i'm not in love with because you never know what the fuck could come out of that <laughs> no. if you had to choose between to live someone else's life do you rather be Hitler or Stalin would I rather be Hitler or Stalin um that's kind of a tough question you know what I would be... Now, I have a question. Do you have to... Oh, he left. Alright. Well, I'm just going to go under the assumption that you take over as them. And that... Because my question to him was, if you were... If you had to choose between Hitler and Stalin, could you do stuff differently from them? Or would you have to make the same choices that they did? And... If I didn't have to make, and if I didn't make the same choices that they did, I would become Hitler. Stop the Holocaust, basically. So stop killing people who weren't Aryan. And then not have... And then just kind of turn it from trying to conquer the world and make everyone German Aryan. I would take it from that into just trying to conquer the world. And then after I'd conquer the world... I'd turn around, well, cause see, Hitler kind of messed up when he 
attacked Stalingrad so many times. When he just he just kept going after Stalingrad and eventually exhausted his army. I wouldn't do that. I would just I would have taken Moscow when I had the chance and killed Stalin. And then I would have just conquered the world. And then once cuz kind of getting philosophical here like once you like once you hmm, this is kind of hard to explain. Once you control the world, like that's it. You just control the world and you can kind of dictate it which would kind of be world peace and you could just kind of let people do what they want I, I it's it's kind of hard to explain like i would i would be very flexible like i would rule the world but at the same time i wouldn't force one person to do any one thing on their own or anything you know and by the way for those of you watching just got a message from brett that he's not gonna be in the podcast anymore so it's just b podcast or whatever from now on uh, we only have like a few minutes left, so it's just whatever to me. I don't really care. Oh, it said C4 armed, but it didn't actually blow up. Dang it. But yeah, so it'll just be me. That's a clone too. Yeah. But yeah, it'll just be me from now, but you know what? We have a few minutes. Um kind of give you guys a heads up later today at like around four o'clock me and a few of my friends are going to be recording the series so that's good hopefully gonna get episode five done and we can start uploading it at some point yeah i really don't know what to talk about because i don't have my co-host here with me or a guest we were originally planning on having brett uh not brett brad be part of this but he backed out at the last second because he was gonna go play fallout and he's like oh I need to know the story, which is fine. I mean, why would you play Fallout and not pay attention to the story? But, it's kind of like, GSK by. But yeah, that happened. So, Brad's off playing Fallout. Brett is lagging hard. So he said, screw it. He's not going to be part of the podcast. I'm not sure if he'll try to join me and just talk to me after the fact, but... He sent me a message, and I didn't read the whole thing, but I only read the preview. And I'm guessing he's not going to keep joining back. And I'm guessing he's just not going to keep trying to join. Jesus, that feed! It was so split, but so good. Okay. So I'm guessing he's just going to try not to, you know, intrude on the podcast as much. So, yeah. We got about, like, a minute left. So, you know, um, I'm going to say thank you all for tuning in to the first podcast, even though it's not live. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, sorry that Brad had such connection problems on the first episode. We're going to try to record this broadcast when his grandmother is not at his house. So, then that way he can actually fucking talk to us. Uh, we tried our best not to curse. I just did then. But we tried our best not to curse. And if we did curse, I'm going to probably make the audio silent for that bit there. For whenever we cursed. Or something. I'll try to do something to it. So yeah, thanks. Thank you all so much for watching the first uh, BNB or whatever podcast. And I'm hoping that you all have a good day and a good future. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just trying to pass the time. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll see you in whatever the next activity may be. Bye bye. Now watch me whip. Now watch me create cringe.